Ooh, congratulations to Earl Spence. Um, he came out with the stoppage and the win versus um, Ugas. Um, in the beginning of the fight, it was, it was kind of weird. You know, you could tell that, you know, his timing was kind of off a little bit. And Ugas was catching with a couple, with, uh, with a couple of shots. In the first round, he didn't really do too much, both of them. But, you know, Ugas, you could tell that he was a much bigger man. He had that size on him. Um, he had that high guard, which made it very difficult to get to him. He was throwing the jab a lot, you know, in the earlier rounds as well. And he was giving problems. He was actually timing Earl Spence and clipped him in the, in the, in the head a couple of times. Um, but once Earl Spence kind of, you know, got the flow of everything, um, it's hard to figure, um, you know, Ugas out. It's hard to um, parry block shots. Um, it's hard to chopping that tree basically down, chopping him to the body, coming up top, chopping to the body, coming up top. Um, Ugas got hurt. You know, you could tell that Ugas was getting hurt. You could tell that he was trying to break down. Um, and he ended up catching him in the eye real bad, kind of like the like he did against um, Kel Brooks. And I started to close up. And he was in pain because every time, every time Spence would touch that eye at all, he would just wince in pain just all of a sudden. just So it wasn't one of them things where your eyes just swollen. It's just swollen. You could get hit, but you're still moving. Every time anything touched it, brushed it at all, he just he would stop fighting. You know, and because of that, I'm personally thinking that he might have a broken orbital bone because of that. But I guess once he goes to the hospital and everything, you'll see. We'll, we'll see. I mean, one round I thought he was going to get stopped, but then the ref stops the fight to get Ugas checked out for whatever reason. You know, it wasn't like a, a lull in the fight, nothing like that. He just stopped him, went to the corner. The doctor checked him out. They brought him back in. Um, they continued to fight again. Um, later on, Earl Spence caught him in the eye again. He stopped him, pulled him to the side again. The doctor looked at it this time, could see that the man couldn't see out of the eye whatsoever, so he stopped the fight, which I think was a good stoppage. Some people were saying, oh, it's not a good stoppage. Ugas wanted to fight, let him fight. He's a champion. Yeah, you're a champion, but it comes to a certain point where you have to stop the fight, you know, and I think he probably has a broken over the bone. That's what I personally believe, but we'll see. Either way, regardless of he was hurt, physically and his body was getting broken down, and obviously his face was on one side completely closed up. The other side was going on to being closed. And he was in bad shape, you know. So basically the fight was stopped, you know. Um, shout out to a lot of people, man, who predicted that. Because I thought everybody was full of ish. I was like, I don't know what these fools are talking about. They out their damn mind. You know, he's not knocking Ugas out. It's going to be a good fight. It's going to be a tough fight. I, th I thought it was going to be a real tough fight where... Earl Spence basically edges it out like 8-4. You know, 8-4, 7-5. That's what I thought was going to happen. I didn't expect that. I didn't expect just, you know, this dominance that Earl Spence had. You know, um, I think the only thing he pretty made him uh, much did as far as making a mistake was when his mouthpiece fell out. And for whatever reason, he's walking towards his mouthpiece, not paying attention and uh, Ugas clipped him twice. You know, technically that should have been a knockdown because what kept him from going down was the ropes. The technique should have been a knockdown, but they didn't call it a knockdown. But regardless, you know, he was able to survive that moment. He shouldn't have that happen again. He has to maintain his focus at all times. He has little laws where he can slightly lose his focus, and you do that against certain other opponents, they'll make you pay for that, you know. But um, after the fight, you know, basically I said what's next. And he said, um, everybody knows who he wants. He wants that other belt. He wants to become undisputed. He wants to fight against Terrence Crawford. And he told Crawford, I'm coming after your mother effing belt. Will it happen? I don't know. Because me, I, what I said was, when this fight's over, they're going go to go you know, to Crawford. And they're going to try to negotiate that fight. We don't know what's going on with him and Kinahan. If Crawford is signed to Kinahan, if Crawford is signed to Probellum, Anything like that, reality is, that fight probably might, might not be able to be made, you know, with what the government is basically passed saying, hey, you cannot, you know, no American companies can have any dealings with that man or companies that he's a part of. So, you know, we're waiting for more information to come out. But if that's what they say is the case, it might be a situation where they can't deal with, they can't make the Crawford fight anyway, you know. But if that's not the case, then obviously... It's something that they can do, then it's going to all come up to Terrence Crawford. It's going to be a question to him. Are, are you going to be willing to take, you know, be realistic in what you want? You know, or are you going to want this? Now nah, I want 50-50. This guy just fought in front of 30, 40,000 plus people. 
So who knows how many pay-per-views has three belts around his waist and just got, you know, just had an incredible stoppage. You have to be very realistic with, you know, what your worth is, you know? So I don't know what's going to happen. You know, um, I, me personally, I don't think the fight's going to happen, but I hope I'm wrong. Just like I was wrong tonight. I was wrong tonight. I didn't think Earl Spence was going to get the knockout at all. I thought it was going to be a really good, close, tough fight that Earl Spence ends up, you know, winning by like two rounds, two, maybe, maybe three rounds, maybe eight, four, but I was thinking more seven, five, you know, but that's not what happened. So, you know, some situations where it's good to be wrong. So hopefully I'm wrong on that one, but we'll know it, I guess, in the next couple of weeks. But regardless, like, subscribe, share. I'm out.